first things first, man. There is really no good reason a DJ should ever be ripping songs from SoundCloud and YouTube. Like, for real, what the f*** are you doing? Oh, YouTube, y'all already know what it is. What up though YouTube? Y'all already know what it is, man. It's your favorite damn DJ in the land, DJ Lixer, and I'm back with another video. Quick disclaimer, you guys. Um, unfortunately, I'm coming down with some type of cold or, you know, something like that. I, you know, pop my Theraflu and my NyQuil, so, you know, if my voice goes in and out or I'm not as enthusiastic in this video as I usually am, just bear with me. But it's Wednesday. I said every Wednesday we're doing a DJ Tips video, so that's what I'm here doing for y'all, man. I'm doing this for y'all. But let's get straight into it, man. I get this question a lot, y'all, especially from beginner DJs or people who, you know, tiptoeing into the game but are not quite there yet. Constantly people ask me, yo, Lixer, where do I get my music from? And my definitive answer for that is you have to invest in a DJ pool, man. DJ pools are the key to life. They're probably your greatest investment next to your equipment, next to your Serato, record box, whatever, man. A DJ pool is what's gonna get you together. Especially if you're just starting out in the game. Like me, I've been collecting music for years. So a DJ pool has helped me probably within the last five years or so. But if you're not like me and you don't collect music and you're really just starting out as a DJ, it's really imperative that y'all invest in a good DJ pool. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you my top three DJ pools that I've used before. I'm not gonna include DJ City on this list. The reason being, I've never used DJ City, but I'm bringing them up because a lot of DJs say they really do rock with DJ City. Like I said, I've never used it before, so I don't want to give you guys advice or tell you guys to use something that I've never used myself. But I'm going to give you guys the top three DJ pools that I have used, the pros and cons for it, what can you expect out of it, payments, and all of that good stuff. So just pay attention, all right? Coming in at number three is Franchise Record Pool. And I've been DJing for five years, and I had Franchise Record Pool pool for about two years. I'm currently not subscribed to it anymore, and I'll tell you about that in a second. But um, some of the pros of Franchise Record Pool is if you're a heavy hip-hop DJ, this might be the record pool for you. If you really like spinning hip-hop, and you know, especially old-school hip-hop, something I really liked about Franchise Record Pool is that if there was a clean version of a song that I needed, like off of a, a, a Biggie song or something like that, off a of Life After Death album, and I needed the clean version of it, a lot of these other DJ pools aren't going to have it. And that's just the reality of it. It doesn't suck absolutely because who wants to go through, you know, YouTube rips and all of that stuff? Not you, because you're not doing that anymore, right? Boy, if you don't get. Okay, but anyway, they're great for old school hip hop tracks new school hip hop tracks, house. I love, 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 love franchise record pools as house selection. That's really what kept me going on that site for so long because I heard house remixes that I didn't hear on other sites and some I couldn't even find on YouTube. So that was like really, really dope. They're only $20 a month, $19.99 US dollars per month. So franchise record pool, you know, it, it works out because they're not that expensive. They're good at hip-hop, don't get me wrong, they do have their top 40, they do have their EDM, but for hip-hop DJs, I would recommend Franchise Record Pool. One of the major cons for me was the site is absolutely annoying. Um, it's really, really hard to navigate for me. Like, you couldn't just click on the song. You had to rate the song, and then you had to be, you were, you were able to download it. Sometimes I don't want to go through that. I don't want to tell you it's a five-star this, doing this, doing that. Sometimes I just want to download the song and that actually threw off the algorithms because people are just lying on tracks giving them, you know, one star just so they can hurry up and download the song. The site is kind of weird, especially with the search engine. You have to click on one tab to go to another and then another tab will lead you somewhere else. That was one of the things I really couldn't stand about Franchise Record Pool. They really need to clean up their website a little bit. Last thing about Franchise Record Pool is to me, now I haven't been on it in over a year, but to me, they were really behind on getting some of the newer songs, especially if those songs were top 40. I wanna say when Juju on that beat came out, it took Franchise like two weeks to get that song. And I'm just like, man, this is like the number one song, you know, for, for all the kids 
why is it taking them so long to get this track? And I noticed that with the um, For Free track with Drake. It took them a long time to do that. But other than that, man, Franchise Record Pool, like I said, if you're a, a hip-hop DJ or a house DJ, I would definitely, definitely look into going into Franchise Record Pool. Coming in at number two is DigitalDJPool.com, you guys. Digital DJ Pool was my very, very first DJ pool that I ever became a part of. Why? Because it was only $12 a month. I don't believe it's $12 a month anymore. I believe it's $15 a month, but that's still a lot cheaper. That is the cheapest DJ pool you would get out here. And let's be real, y'all, man. $15, that's just a meal for you and your girl from McDonald's. You can afford the $15 a month to invest into digital DJ pool, you know what I'm saying? Some of the pros of digital DJ pool is that their website was very, very easy to navigate. Absolutely, if you search for something, it will pop up immediately. They had this option called Mix With that I really enjoyed. And basically the mix with would give you, if we have, this is how we do it, it might, you know, tell you to mix it in with poison or something like that. I'm just throwing that example out there. But it was a really cool option that I really enjoyed. It's really, really great for local artists local and labels and things of that nature. I know a lot of artists who don't necessarily have the tools to get, you know, their songs out there to thousands upon thousands of DJs, but they're able to, uh, if, they're, if they're underground and they have a little buzz, I believe, you were able to download those songs. So that's what was really cool about digitaldjpool.com. The cons to digitaldjpool.com, uh, it's, it's not a lot. They don't have music videos available for download. So if you're looking for music videos, if you're a video DJ or karaoke or anything like that, digital DJ pool is, is not, it's not gonna be what you want. As well as they don't have a lot of intro tracks. And for me, that was a big issue because I love having my intro track. So that way, you know, it's just an easy scratch and transition to get straight into my next track. But, you know, for not, to not have videos and to not have intro tracks and to be $15 a month, you know, they have all the hip hop. They got your top 40. They have your, your, your pop. They have, you know, your EDM, your remixes. It's a really decent site. I'm not going to lie. So if you can do away with not having videos and intro tracks, you might be actually really good and that might be the best DJ pool for you. All right, y'all, last but not least, and also my favorite DJ pool, the one that I'm currently subscribed to at the moment, is mymp3pool.com. And this DJ pool is, I think it covers everything, man. It covers, you know, your hip hop. It covers your EDM. They have charts. They have trending. They have, you know, the top downloads of the week. They have the top downloads of the month. Everything that you would basically need in a DJ pool, they have a My MP3 pool. Another major pro to My MP3 pool, you guys, they have an app. That's something that I take advantage of often. Especially like if I'm in the car or, you know, I'm at a concert. If I'm at another gig with another DJ and I can Shazam the song or whatever, and then I can look it up on my phone on, you know, My MP3 pool app put it in my queue so when I get on my laptop I literally go in my queue and it'll show me exactly what I need to download it'll give me that exact song it has all type of intros the one thing I know that they're lacking on I don't get a lot of acapellas with my mp3 pool but you know I don't really mix acapellas and instrumentals that often so that's not that big of a deal for me a couple of the cons the search engine is really really funny it's kind of wonky you guys like, if you're looking for a certain song, you literally just have to type only the song. Like, I can't put Rihanna SOS in there. It, there's nothing that will pop up. I either have to put Rihanna or I have to put SOS, which I think is, like, really whack because when I'm searching for something, especially when I'm at a gig and somebody requests something, I want to be able to, you know, type it in and get it in there immediately. Aside from the search function, the website works really well. It's really dope. It's only $19.99 US dollars per month, and it's really worth it. I, I absolutely enjoy it, man. And my MP3 pool is what I'm on now. I've been with them for about two and a half, two, two, maybe two and a half years now. And I haven't had any issues with it for real. All right, y'all. So those are my top three DJ pools that I would look into getting if you're a beginner DJ or if you're a veteran DJ. If you're looking for something brand new, those three DJ pools, they'll pretty much get you together. There's tons. There's tons of DJ pools. So just don't take my word for it. You know, if you're like a Latin DJ, they have Latin DJ pools. I just recently got hit to a, a gospel DJ pool, which is relatively cool. I don't get to spin gospel that much, but if you're that kind of DJ or if you're getting into, you know, 
Christian hip hop or anything like that, they have DJ pools for that. So definitely do your research when it comes to D DJ pools and figuring out what caters best to you. I know for me, I'm subscribed. Sometimes I'm subscribed to two or three pools at a time because one might not have something that I'm looking for. I did that a lot between when I was subscribed to franchise as well as my MP3 pool. It all It's all basically catered on pool to, you know, what you're tailored for and what you like. But the one thing you can't do as a DJ is use these YouTubers, man. Thanks you guys so much for checking out this video. If you really like this video, man, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Make sure that you subscribe. And don't forget to hit the buh, 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 bell one time for the one time. Make sure you get those notifications every time I upload a video. This pretty ass face, you know, it pops up on your feed and you can show me some love, man. Leave me um, some recommendations in the comments. Are there any DJ pools that y'all absolutely rock with that I didn't mention? Like I said, I never used DJ City. I might go ahead and just invest in DJ City though because a lot of people are telling me that it's pretty great. But aside from that, thanks for checking out the channel. Like I said, like, subscribe, comment, bell. In that order. No, I'm just playing. It's your girl DJ Lixer, man, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.